Dobrý den. Dobrý den. Dobrý den. OK. Uh, have you chosen the topic or, or do they put you in different groups? Vybrali. Vybrali. You chose it. Hmm. What's the topic? You have not chosen it, huh? <laughs> you have chosen to, to translate. Doesn't matter what. Huh? Yeah, we met we met each other in Norway in Sluskosh. Up in Sweden. Oh. North of Sweden. <laughs> Yeah. Where? Lightmerit, north of Czech. But that's not helpful. Yes. Yeah. Then, I, then you were... Uh... <laughs> Lightmerit, yes. that's not helpful. <laughs> yeah, time is, time is going. Did you the last time? Thank you, Mata Kozak. Good. Uh, I think this is a very, very important topic. Uh, that's why we start with prayer. <laughs> oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can gather together here. And learn from your world. Live in your reality. Amen. Do you understand her? Mm -hmm. Yes. If not, you must come a little bit closer. So. I, I, don't, I don't bite you. Only when I'm really hungry. But I... Good. I think uh, the topic prayer is one of the most confusing in, in the church. When I was young, I always heard how important prayer is. But on the prayer meeting, nobody came. <laughs> This is a little bit of paradox. And children are not, not stupid. They don't believe every word. They believe what they see and what they experience. So the fact that nobody came to the prayer meeting was telling us children something. Uh, I think the most Christians are blind for this topic. Myslím si, že většina křesťanů je slepá k tomuhle tématu. And the lack of prayer is only one lack of many things. Nedostatek modlitby je jenom nedostatek jedné z mnoha věcí. At the end, we are living a limited life. Konec konců žijeme limitovaný život. We live with our ableness. Žijeme s naší schopností. With our possibilities. Yeah, our concepts, our plans, what we can pay, but we are not living with God's possibility. Uh, Jesus said to the disciples, this is the mission order. When he said, go to the whole world and preach to us there. There he said, to me is given all the power in heaven and on earth. That's why you shall go. Not because we are young and strong and educated. The church is is always limited on some projects, on the own money. And we do what we can. 
And mostly we have a good idea. Máme dobré or we copy a project. Nebo projekt. And then we pray, Lord bless us with that. A pak se modlíme, Pane Bože, nám. But it's the opposite. Ale je to God has maybe a plan for us. Možná pro nás má Bůh plán. And he wants to integrate us. A chce nás do toho plánu. But we are blind for that. Ale my jsme, my to nevidíme, my jsme We try to copy other projects. You know, the, the leaders of the church union, they came to me, the, uh, the, the leaders of the Czech union, they said some years ago the Americans came to us. They said, look, there is revival on the Philippines. And you must do it This and that and that and that and you will have the same revivals. And the leader told me we did exactly what they said. And nothing happened. And then I asked him. And now who is the idiot, the American or you? I said, how can you believe something like that? In the, in the spiritual world, nothing is funguje. Uh, God is doing different works. And on every work is copyright. You know, God once said, build a big ark. Shall we now say, oh, it was working in that time, now we are building arts? No. It was one project for one situation. Or another time, God says, go uh, surround Jericho. And then blow the trumpet. This happened once. You cannot copy it. We must find out what is God doing, what is his will. You know, in John 6, I love this story. Uh, you see, as children, maybe we hear all these biblical stories. But they are given for grown-up people. But sometimes when we are grown up, We read it and we think it's boring because I heard it already as a child. Uh, we must get the points there. In that situation we have the 5,000 hungry people. And Jesus asks, what shall we do to feed them all? Co máme udělat, abychom je všechny nakrmili? And then, after the happening, the disciples were more clever. A potom, co stalo, tak ty učedníci byli chytřejší. And John wrote that Jesus only asked this because he wanted to test them. Takže Jan potom napsal, že Ježíš se zeptal jenom proto, že učedník chtěl zkoušet. But in the moment he was not knowing it. <laughs> And Jesus asked, what shall we do to feed the 5,000 people? And they were all falling through the test. They were first at all looking, have we enough money? No. Have we possibilities? No, no bakery. You see, we always look on our ableness. We don't learn to live with the possibilities of Christ. It's standing there, Jesus was already knowing what he wanted to do. So for my life in my ministry, there is one conviction. Jesus knows. He knows already. He knows exactly what he is going to do. 
And I must not look on my bank account. Takže já se nemusím dívat na svůj účet bankovní. That's, that's not interesting. To není zajímavé. I want to give an example. Chci vám dát příklad. When I started uh, my uh, the ministry in uh, North of Scandinavia. Když jsem začal svoji službu na severu Skandinávie. I said to our small group. Řekl jsem svoji malé skupince. Of all people. Starších lidí. I said It's standing in the Bible that God doesn't want that anybody go lost. But that everybody get the knowledge of the truth. So, uh, can you agree with that? Yes, yes. But The question is, do you accept it as your duty? <coughs> That nobody in your generation is allowed to go lost without knowing the truth. You feel it maybe as a... It's not possible. Um, and maybe you feel the pressure of a negative duty. But when you really live with the truth, then it's a privilege. It is a privilege. Uh, because I said to them, We are here and up to the North Cape, we have 1,200 kilometers. So this whole area is our area, where we must bring the gospel. Is this a burden? Je to is this not possible? Je to Or is it a privilege? Nebo je to They said, we don't have the money. Oni říkali, My nemáme we don't have the power, we are old. Moc, jsme starší. I said, yes, but now we can pray. Říkám, ano, ale se Aha. Aha. Now we have the privilege to be part of a miracle. Teď máme tu být that's how I look on it. Because I know that we don't can do it. I, I'm not glasnost. I, I don't think I have the body and the power to, to, to make it. So we prayed. Lord, you have already a plan. Integrate us into your plan. And do you know what happened? One week later, a journalist called me. And he said, Cornelius, is it true that, that some miracles happen in, in your ministry? Can we come and make an article in our newspaper? It was a worldly newspaper. The biggest one in the whole north. And they came. And I explained what God had done. They were so excited. Yeah. And then they wrote an article. They made a title story of it. With many pages. And they sent it to every house in the north. As a reklama akcie. Is God unable? Je Bůh He was providing that every, every house got the information of what God is doing up there. Zařídil, že každý dům o tom, co Bůh so you see, God has always a plan. Takže, jak vidíte, Bůh má plan. And we must not reduce ourselves. We are allowed to come into that flow. Se na jeho... To live in harmony with God. Žít v harmonii s Bohem, být na jeho plně. 
Uh, I want to give you some Bible verses which are important for me when we talk about prayer. In uh, 1 John 5 Where is it? 13, I think. 14. From 14. And uh, 15. Yeah, you can read it. 14 and 15. Takže 14 a 15 verš. Máme v něho pevnou důvěru, že nás slyší, kdykoliv o něco požádáme ve shodě s jeho vůní. A víme-li, že nás slyší, kdo, kdykoliv o něco žádáme, pak také víme, že to, co máme, jsme dostali od něho. You know, when we pray, Když se modlíme, in the will of God, s Boží vůní, then we know, tak víme, it will, it will happen. že se to stane. But how to pray in the will of God. Ale jak se máme modlit? This means I must know the will of God. To znamená, že musíme znát Boží vůli. The charismatic concept is wrong in my point of view. Charismatická představa, která je podle mě špatná. They for example believe that God is healing everybody here and now. Oni například věří tomu, že Bůh uzdravuje každého teď tady. And to pray in the name of Jesus means to use the name like a magical tablet. A že modlit se ve jménu Pána Ježíše znamená používat Ježíšovo jméno jako nějaký zázračný pojem. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Jsi uzdraven ve jménu Ježíše. In the name of Jesus you are healed. No. Ve jménu Ježíše si uzdraven. So I then repeat it and repeat it. Takže to opakuju a opakuju. This is a magic style. To je magický styl. Uh, to Pray in the name of Jesus means that we know the will of Jesus. This means that prayer starts with Jesus. He comes to us and asks us something to do. We have this in the book of Acts. To máme ve kniz, v knize skutku. When Jesus in the spirit came to Ananias. Když Ježíš v duchu přišel k Ananiášovi. And said, go, go to Saul. A řekl mu, jdi za Saulem. Right now he's blind. V tuhle chvíli je slepý. So go to him that he might see again. Takže běž za ním a řekni mu, že opět uvidí. Oh, and Ananias don't want. Ananiáš byl, oh, nechtěl. You don't you know, he's dangerous. Ty nevíš, že je nebezpečný? And then Jesus must help him to prepare him so that he at the end says, okay, I do it. This means in the beginning he doesn't want. He has reasons why. But Jesus is helping him and then he says, okay. Takže on potom řekne, and then he goes Ajde. in the name of Jesus. This means he's doing his job. To znamená, že dělá svoji práci, svoji úlohu. Jesus told him to do. Kterou mu Ježíš dal. This means to go in the name of Jesus. To znamená jít ve jménu Ježíše. And then he prays in the name of Jesus. A pak se modlí ve jménu Ježíše. He's not jumping around like a charismatic. Neskáče okolo jako in the name of Jesus, Ananias, I free you from blindness. No, he comes and says, Ananias, I'm here. Jesus sent me and now you shall see again. So he... And he can see. Because Jesus has... Provided this. It is his plan. This doesn't mean that Ananias can go to everybody who is blind. And it works. 
It's not the biblical way. Look at Abraham. Abraham received from the Lord that he should get a son. And he got a son. But what does it mean for us? Shall we now go to all the old people houses and say you only must believe you will get children again? Měli bychom jít teďka ke všem domům se starými lidmi a říct jim, stačí, když budete věřit a budete mít znovu děti. No, there is copyright on what God is doing. Je copyright na to, co Bůh dělá. We must understand what God says in the, in the situation. Musíme rozumět tomu, co Bůh říká v té situaci. If not, we are living like fanatics and we are cheating people. Když ne, tak žijeme jako fanatici a podvádíme lidi. Because we promise something Protože něco slíbíme. and it doesn't happen. Ale pak to, pak se to nestane. And then they are disappointed. A oni jsou zklamaní. And many people are disappointed. A mnoho lidí je zklamaní. Uh, I want to give you some examples how I experienced this. Chci vám dát nějaké příklady, jak já jsem tohle prožil. Uh, in, in Sweden we uh, we had an empty church saal. Ve Švédsku jsme měli prázdný sbor. And we prayed uh, again and again for, for uh, church banks or, or, cha or chairs or something because the date of the opening came closer. I also was looking in internet. Nothing. And one day. The Holy Spirit said to me, Cornelius, go to the other city and pray with a man, his name is Sixten Heitman, pray with that man for church bank. And so I did. I asked Sixten, uh, Sixten uh, do you want to pray with me for church banks? You said yes, we can pray for church chains. And then I, I, I had this. I was sure that God is doing something. So I, I prayed, Lord, now I order church banks in the heaven catalog. I said, Lord, now I order church banks in the heaven catalog. A tak jsem se modlil, pane Bože, teďka objednává hlavici do sporu ve tvým nebeským katalogu. And he said, he? Eh? A on řekl, co? I can only order at Amazon. Já to můžu objednat jedině na Amazon. I said, I can do that, I can't do that because I'm very bad with the technical stuff. Aha. To já udělat nemůžu, mě nejdou tyhle technické věci. And I made the joke. A dělal jsem si z toho srandu. I said, you will see that heaven will deliver faster and better than your Amazon. Uvidíš, že nebe nám to doručí Rychlej a lépe, než by Amazon udělal. So I went home. A šel jsem domů. Next day he called me. Další mi volá. He said, Cornelius, I got church banks. Říkal, Cornelie, mám lavice. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Tak to, tak to funguje. Miracles are happening. Zázraky se dějí. But as Jesus has provided. Ale jak jenom tak, když je Ježíš zařídí. We cannot live only with our ableness. Nemůžeme žít jenom z našich schopností. Uh, the story behind this was they have again closed uh, a, a church building in the north of Sweden. Because Christianity is dying out there. And then they cleaned up the church building. And they were not knowing what to do with the church beds. And Sixten met the old pastor. A Sixten se potkal s tím starým původním pastorem. And pastor said, I, I just don't know what to do with the church beds. A pastor mu říká, já nevím, co mám dělat s našimi zborovými lavicemi. Said, ah, we prayed for it yesterday. A Sixten říká, oh, my jsme se za to včera modlili. You see? Vidíte? Jesus has provided. Ježíš to zařídil. Wonderful. Úžasné. When I started my ministry in Czech. Když jsem začal svoji službu v Čechách. Uh, before of that, I was 10 years in the criminal motorcycle scene. Předtím jsem byl, jsem byl součástí kriminální scény motorkářské. Uh, and I thought I will do this the rest of my life. A myslel jsem si, že to budu dělat po svého života. But one day, God said to me, 
It's over. Ale jednoho dne mi Bůh řekl, s tím je konec. And I, 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 for me it was, he? What? Why? But I realized I, I am the, the pioneer and not the, the master of the world. Ale uvědomil jsem si, já jsem, já jsem začátečník, ne šéf této práce. And uh, then God showed me I should start uh, náměstí evangelizace in Czech. Ale potom mi Bůh ukázal, že bych měl začít evangelizaci na náměstí v České republice. That's a long story. To je dlouhý příběh. But, but I, I was... Really, I remember the moment when I said to the Lord. Already the criminal bikers were crazy, but this is totally mad. Dělat s těmi kriminálníky motorkáři už bylo šílený, ale tohle to je úplná šílenost. But this is nothing which was my dream to do. Tohle není nic, o čem bych kdy snil. Or my idea. To nebyl můj nápad. Something I like. Není to něco, co bych měl rád. Uh, no, it was challenging me. Ne, bylo to velice vyzývající pro mě. And I was arguing with God. A hádal jsem se s Bohem. I said, Lord, this is not a good idea. Řekl jsem, Bože, tohle není dobrý nápad. Like Ananias. Jako Ananias. I said, when I stay on the náměstí in Czech. Řekl jsem, když budu na náměstí v Čechách. The Christian thing, I'm a fanatic and extremist. Křesťani si budou myslet, že jsem fanatik a extremista. And the, the atheist thing to say. A ty jsi si budou myslet to tež. I said, Lord, why must always I have this position? Řekl, proč já musím mít vždycky tuhle pozici? That I am between the borders. Že jsem vždycky na hranici. It was the same in the motorcycle scene. Stejné to bylo, i když jsem byl s motorkáři. The Christian saw me and said, he cannot be a real Christian. Křesťaní, když mě viděli, tak si mysleli, to nemůže být pravý křesťaní. Look how he looks like. Podívejte se, jak vypadá. But the same said the bikers. A motorkáři taky. He cannot be a real Christian. To nemůže být pravý křesťaní. Because all the Christians are softies, look at his biceps. Protože všichni křesťaní jsou měkký, koukněte se na jeho bicepsy. So I always was between, they were shooting from all the sides of me, yeah? Takže na mě stříleli ze všech stran. But you know, God needs different people. Ale víme, že Bůh potřebuje různé lidi. I have learned to be the bridge between the bikers and the church. Naučil jsem se být mostem mezi mezi motorkáři a mezi to, to, to lead the Christian to the different scenes and Přivez... bring the bikers to the churches. Přivezu křesťany na různé jiné situace a přivez motorkáře do sboru. And now the same in Czech. A teď to stejný v Čechách. I said, Lord, I cannot speak Czech. Řekl jsem, Bože, neumím mluvit česky. Uh, and all the arguments. So I just want you to know, it was not my desire to do it. But the Holy Spirit was talking to me, challenging me. And uh, I said, Lord, I need a translator. I met Peter Novotny. Excellent organizator and translator. Úžasný organizátor a překladatel. And God had provided. Bůh všechno zařídil. At the end, I had on my heart that we have a big podium. Na konci jsem si moc přál, abychom měli velké podium. To to carry the repro. Abychom tam mohli mít reproduktor. The books. Knihy. That we can protect the books when it's raining. Abychom mohli ochránit ty knihy, když prší. And so on. So I said at the end, Lord, okay, I do it. In that moment, Jesus said to me, "Go to that church and make a mission day. You will get the money there for the podium." So I made the mission day and explained uh, that I have on my heart to make the mission in Czech. A vysvětlil jsem, že mám na srdci být teďka sloužit v Čechách. And then one man said, Jeden muž mi řekl, Cornelius, I have on my heart to pay one part of the podium when another one pays the other part of the podium. Cornelius, já mám na srdci zaplatit část 
peněz na to pódium, pokud další člověk zaplatí tu další část. I said, OK, let's wait. Dobře, tak počkáme. Five minutes late, later another one came. O pět minut později přišel další muž. It said exactly the same. A řekl přesně to samé. I said, go and talk with him. <laughs> so we got the money for the podium. And then we had everything. And my contract, uh, the, as a Peter Novotny, he went to the church leaders. And um, offered this kind of evangelization to them. And I was knowing what happens. A já jsem věděl, co se stane. They were skeptic. Byli skeptičtí. Uh, and one, only one pastor had the courage to try it. A jenom jeden jediný pastor měl tu odvahu to vyzkoušet. That's uh, Vlado Krupa. Jmenoval se Vlado Krupa. He was pastor in Radec Králové. Byl to pastor v Hradci Králové. And I thought... A já jsem si řekl... One week evangelization in one city Jeden týden evangelizace v jednom městě. Was it worth all these struggling and preparations and whatever? To všechno stálo za to, abychom měli všechny tyhle zařizování a but, komplikace. But I said to Lord. Ale řekl jsem Bohu. Lord, you know what you do. You are old enough. Ty víš, co děláš, jsi dost starý. <laughs> I, I must not tell you what to do. Já ti nemůžu říkat, co máš dělat. And do you know what happened? Víte, co se stalo? We made this one week evangelization and God was doing such a miracle there that the door was open for me in whole Czech and Slovakia. I don't know if you know that story but there was a woman in the church she, she is still there ale v tom zboru byla jedna žena, teď tam stále her name žije. Is, her name is Danka. Jmenuje se Danka. And uh, she had an accident with her girlfriend in the car. S kamarádkou měli v autě úraz. The, the girlfriend died. Ta kamarádka zemřela. And Danka, she, she has a visible uh, um, hole in the head. Mm -hmm. A Danka kvůli tomu má viditelnou díru v hlavě. And blind on one eye. A na jedno oko je slepá. And she had lost the ableness to speak. Ztratila, ztratila tu schopnost mluvit plynule. And to make it short, Abych to zkrátil, she came on Wednesday to the podium and started to give her testimony. Začala dávat svoje svědectví. It was not planned from us. Vůbec to nebylo naplánované. She just did it. Prostě to udělala. Because she had it on her heart from the Holy Spirit to Protože do it. Duch svatý to dal na she didn't ask me. Praise the Lord that she has not asked me. Díky Bohu, že se nezeptala. Then I would say, sorry, but you cannot talk. Maybe that's not your. Protože já bych řekl, promiň, ale ty neumíš mluvit. Možná to není úplně tvoje. I was sitting there making a rest. Já jsem tam seděl, odpočíval. And suddenly she she is on the podium. A najednou ona jde na podium. I think what is she doing here? A říkám si, co to dělá? She started to speak. Začala mluvit. And in the first sentences, I, I, I realized she's talking clear Czech. A v prvních větách jsem si uvědomil, že ona mluví plynulé česky. And I, I was, when I was wondering, the, the pastor came already with such eyes and said, this is a miracle, she cannot talk. <laughs> Byl jsem úplně ochromen a za mnou přišel pastor s takovými očima a říká, to je zázrak, když ona neumí mluvit. Translator came, shall I translate what she says? Přišel za mnou překladatel, mám ti překladat, co říká? I said, be quiet. Říkám, buď ticho. Don't disturb her. Neruší. And I was watching the namesty. Koukal jsem se na namesty. Nobody of the people realized that this was a miracle. Nikdo z těch lidí si neuvědomil, že tohle byl zázrak. And I, I was wondering, I said, Lord, you're doing such a miracle, nobody is realizing it. Tak jsem byl zvědavý, pane, děláš takový zázrak, ale nikdo z těch lidí si to ani neuvědomuje. Why are you doing this? Proč to děláš? And when she stopped, a když skončila, I, I stand up, postavil jsem se, and looked around, podíval jsem se okolo, and then I saw a group with fine dressed people. Mm -hmm. Pak jsem viděl skupinu slušně oblečených lidí. And I asked, who are those people? A zeptal jsem se, kdo jsou ti lidé tam? My, my translator said, have you not seen them? I said, no. 
Ne. I'm, I'm almost blind on the left eye. Jsem skoro slepý na levé oko. I, I cannot see you. I, I would not recognize you. Yeah. So on, on the left side, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't see. Yeah. Takže na levé straně já moc skoro nevidím. Uh, I had not seen them. Neviděl jsem je. And they said, these are the leaders from the church. Oni řekli, tohle jsou vedoucí dvoru, církví. They came to find out if this is from God or not, what we do. Přišli, aby viděli, jestli to, co tady děláme, je od Pána Boha nebo ne. I was not doing it. Já jsem to vůbec neviděl. And they were listening all the time when I, I preached. Celou dobu, když jsem kázal, tak poslouchali. And when I started to make a break, they started to discuss if this is from God or not. At that moment, the miracle happened. A discussion was over. They all were witnesses of what God is doing there. And from that moment, I had open doors in all churches. Imagine, from that moment, uh, about 10 years we have been in more than 100 cities and villages. <laughs> and uh, from Cheb till Košice and Leitmaritz and everywhere. Uh, you see, we must learn to pray. Pray it's not only to formulate my desires or to confess biblical truths. We must come into the real discipleship of Christ. Uh, God is doing wonderful things. Yeah. This is a one Bible verse. In uh, Saharia, yeah, in Jesaja, let's go to Jesaja 65, 24. It shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer, and while they are still speaking, I will hear. The point is here, God has prepared. You see here the same. God is a God of preparation. It was the same for Adam. When Adam opened his eyes, the creation was done. Complete. When God opens our eyes, we see that salvation is done, complete. Adam was doing nothing. I can do nothing to deserve salvation. It's not by works. God must open our spiritual eyes that we understand. That we receive it. But many people, they are blind for salvation. And they try to deserve God's love. Or, or heaven. Or attention. Or blessing. And some are very active. But they are not in the will of God. Many examples. But I tell you one. Uh, once they called me from a Christian TV station. They wanted to make a, a new TV uh, program. The idea is excellent. The idea was to have a podium discussion with different people about topics. For example, an ethical topic. Or what is happening in the world. And they wanted to have a doctor professor in ethics. 
Chceli mi doktora, profesora v etice. They wanted to have other experts. Chceli mi další experty. And I should be the expert for the underworld. A ja som měl být ten expert pro tot svět. So maybe with another perspective on the topic, Takže yeah? Takže možná jiná perspektiva na to téma. And I thought uh, the idea is very, very interesting. Myslel jsem si, to je velmi zajímavý nápad. Um, they had a date when they wanted to, to film the first um, série. Měli datum, kdy chtěli natočit první díl. But on that date I had already a date in a small church on the, on, in a village. Ale toho dne já už jsem měl něco jiného v malém sboru ve vesnici. To a prayer meeting. Modlitevní setkání. And the interesting thing is this church only old people. Zajímavé je, že v tomhle sboře jsou jenom staří lidé. But I was learning to pray there. Ale já jsem se tam učil modlit. You know, I, I grow up in a very big church. Já jsem vyrostl ve velkém sboru. Uh, when I was youth leader there, we had 120 youth. When we had youth service, we had 400 youth there. We had every month the best Christian bands from Germany. And then God opened the door for me to this village church. And I was shocked. How they prayed. My, my whole world came into confusion. Uh, and it, it touched me how they pray. So I realized I have to learn something here. Takže jsem si uvědomil, že já se tam mám co učit. And so I had again a prayer meeting there. Takže jsem tam měl znovu modlitevní setkání. So I said to the TV station. A řekl jsem televizní stanici. Uh, I have already a, a date, uh, a prayer meeting in, in a church with some old people. Že v tomhle termínu už má setkání, modlitevní setkání s nějakými staršími lidmi ze sboru. So I asked you to pray that I can manage this like God wants. Takže prosím, abyste se modlili, abych to zvládl, vymyslet, jak si Bůh přeje. Do you know what they answer? Víte, co mi odpověděli? <laughs> they said, let the old people pray. Řekl, nechte, ať se ti staří lidé modlí. We, young people, we do something for God. My, mladí, my pro Boha něco děláme. Then I said, then continue to do i go rather to the prayer meeting tak jsem řekl no tak se tak pokračujte v dělání věcí já radši půjdu na modlitební setkání i was out byl jsem z toho venku you know it is sometimes a big temptation to be part of something big někdy je to velké pokušení být součást něčeho velkého i can only tell you this já vám můžu říct jenom tohle follow jesus and the truth Následujte Ježíše a pravdu. And never try to become big or do something big. A nikdy neskoušejte stát se velkými nebo dělat velké věci. Have the courage to be in the background. Mějte odvahu být v pozadí. Have the courage to be in the underground. Mějte odvahu být. Have the courage to be nothing. Mějte odvahu být ničím. Let God do his work. Nechte Boha ať dělá svoji práci. It was a temptation for me. Bylo to pro mě pokušení. To be part of a TV program. Být součástí televizního programu. But I made the right decision. Ale udělal jsem správné rozhodnutí. We must learn to do the will of God. Musíme se naučit dělat Boží vůli. And not run after big projects. Ne běhat za velkými projekty. God knows what he is doing. Bůh ví, co dělá. And we must learn to pray. A my se musíme naučit modlit. Já. Ja. Uh, You know, to, to hear, to understand the voice of God. How can we understand the voice of God? Jak můžeme porozumět Božímu hlasu? There is a principle. Máme jeden princip. Here is the word of God. Tady je Boží slovo. That's what we have. To máme. Let's go to John 14, 26. Pojďme do Janova Evangelia 4. 
14. kapitola, 6. verš. Jan 14. Yeah, you can read. John 14, Ale přímluvce, Duch Svatý, kterého pošle Otec ve jménu mém, ten vás naučí všemu a připomene vám všecko, co jsem vám řekl. Here we have two works of the Holy Spirit. Tady máme dva, dvě funkce Božího Ducha. Ducha He's Svatého. teaching us the world. Učí nás. Učí nás. And then in our daily life he can remind us. That's how the Holy Spirit becomes more and more space in our life. And uh, don't wait for a light. God stays very often in the secret. Bůh často zůstává utajený. And we have only some thoughts. My máme jenom nějaké myšlenky. But after a while we realized it was God who was talking to us. Ale po nějaké době si uvědomíme, to byl Bůh, co ke mně tehdy mluvil. Once I really asked Jesus. Jednou jsem se zeptal Ježíše. I said, what are you, why are you doing it like this? Řekl jsem, proč to děláš zrovna takhle? Because I When I was young, I prayed, and I expect that God with a loud voice talks to me. I was willing to obey. But there came no voice. And after a while, I said, Lord, why are you hiding yourself behind my thoughts? A pak jsem se ptal, Bože, proč se schováváš za mými myšlenkami? Do you know what he said? Víte, co řekl? Because I want you to react on the truth and not on pressure. Also, I want you to react on the truth and not on, on my power, also that I force you. Protože chci, aby si zareagoval na pravdu, a ne na moji sílu, na můj tlak, že tě donutí. God tries to convince us Bůh se snaží nás přesvědčit. To change us. Změnit nás. He wants us to do the things out of the understanding. Chce, abychom věc dělali z porozumění. God was not starting to talk to me with make the mission day you will get the podium. Also. Mm-hmm. Bůh nezačal ke mně mluvit tím, když řekl, udělej ten misijní den a dostaneš podium. This came later. But the years before, God was talking in a different way to me. For example, I was reading the Bible. And I read the things which were different than we have heard. Was I willing to, to believe that? Byl jsem ochotný tomu věřit? It was challenging me the word of God. Boží slovo mě vyzývalo. The same with the Sabbath. Stejně tak se sobotou. You are maybe grown up with the topic of the Sabbath, but not, not I. Možná, vy jste možná vyrostli s tématem soboty, ale já ne. When I was confronted with that topic, když jsem byl konfrontován tímhle tématem, I only saw problems. Tak jsem viděl jenom problém. Because Lord, when I go over from Sunday to Sabbath, I only will have problems. My family, the churches who supports me. Yeah, you see, are you willing to, to go for your convictions or not? Uh, Some things are very easy for you, but they are very difficult for others. <laughs> It depends where we come from. But God was talking to me once in a very uh, beautiful way. He was doing it many times. But this stupid example. You know, I was watching a film. 
Koukal jsem se na to. Rambo. Rambo. Do you know Rambo? Znáte? Rambo. Sylvester Stallone. It is, a, is a, it is a war movie. Je to válečný film. Just killing. Jenom zabíjení. And uh, I had in my head, you shall not kill. A měl jsem na mysli. Neměl bys, nezabiješ. And my reaction was, this Moje is only a film. Moje reakce byla, tohle je jenom film. That's how we often think, it's only a game, it's only a... Tak často přemýšlíme, je to jenom hra, je to jenom kniha, je to jenom film. Uh, and then I had another thought. Pak jsem měl další myšlenku. When you look after a woman to desire her, když se chtivě podíváš na ženu, you have already broken the marriage. Už jsi porušil manželský se. And I was sitting there, and I thought, what has this topic to do with the other? Já jsem tam seděl a říkal jsem si, co má tohle téma společného s tím filmem? And then the Holy Spirit gave me the bridge. A pak mi Duch Svatý dal můstek, to propojení. The point is, it starts with our thoughts. Jde o to, že to začíná s našimi myšlenkami. God is interested in our thoughts. Bůh se zajímá o naše myšlenky. What is going on in my mind? Co se děje v mojí hlavě? And uh, in that moment, God gave me light. Tu chvíli mě Bůh osvítil. So don't miss the moment when God gives you light. Tak nepropásněte tu chvíli, kdy vám pak dá světlo. And I understood, God has created us. Pochopil jsem, Bůh nás stvořil. He wants us to live. Chce, abychom žili. And I spent my free time with killing films. A já trávím svůj volný čas tím, že kokám na filmy o zabíjení. So I turned off and never on again. You see, we must be faithful in little. If God would not, if God cannot change me on that point, how should he use me on the namaste? Then I would preach, let's look. Sylvester Stallone movies. God must get his space in us. And many people are wondering, they really said to me many times, well, Cornelius, how is God talking to you? I cannot substitute God in your life. But look into the Bible. Ale podívejte se do toho. When God was talking, Když Bůh mluvil, was it different for the people to understand? Bylo to jiné pro lidi, aby to rozuměli? When we don't hear the voice of God in our life, Když neslyšíme Boží hlas v našem životě, then we should humble ourselves. Tak bychom se měli pokořit. Stop children behavior. Zastavit dětské chování. Start to grow up. Vyrůst. And say to the Lord, Lord, help me to come into this dimension. I don't want to waste my time. I have only this life. Nobody knows how long it is. What do you want? Do you want to have three years in the power of Christ or 70 boring years like the most church members? Chcete tři roky žít v moci Krista nebo 70 let nudným křesťanským životem jako většina lidí ve spolu? You must decide. Vy se musíte rozhodnout. It's your decision. Je to vaše rozhodnout. Many are afraid. Mnoho lidí má strach. To, to really follow Jesus. Opravdu následovat Ježíš. Because it could mean that he sends me to Africa. Protože by to mohlo znamenat, že mě pošle do Afriky. Yeah, that's what I was uh, thinking many years. <laughs> Because we always heard mission stories from Africa. For me it was horrible. Because Slunce don't like, like me. I'm a red type. Uh, I get sunburned. And I always was afraid that God is sending me to Africa. So when I then said, Lord, I'm ready to go wherever you want. 
Takže když jsem konečně řekl, bože, jsem připravený jít kamkoliv, mě pošleš. Do you want me to go to Africa, I will go. Jestli chceš, abych šel do Afriky, tak půjdu. Or to Russian, Nebo do Ruska, to Ukrajine. na Ukrajinu. It was the deepest possible humbleness I could bring. To byla ta nejhlubší pokora, se kterou jsem mohl přijít. And I expected that God said to me, go to Africa. A já jsem čekal, že Bůh řekne, běž do Afriky. Or Russia. Nebo do Ruska. But he didn't say something like this. Do you know what happened? Víte, co se stalo? When I was at that point that I really said, Lord, I am willing to go wherever you want. Když jsem řekl, Bože, jsem připravený jít kamkoliv chceš. I'm not joking with you. Nedělám si Cornelius is sometimes a clown, but, but not, it's not my, my plan to be. <laughs> Někdy se chovám jako clown, ale není to můj plán. When I prayed, Lord, shall I go to Africa or Russia or wherever? Když jsem se modlil, Bože, mám jít do Afriky nebo do Ruska nebo kam? I had a voice in my head. Vyšel jsem hlas a hlas. Just, just a small thought. Jenom taková malá myšlenka. Go to your mother and ask for forgiveness. Běž za svojí maminkou a požádej o odpuštění. And do you think I was able to understand this? A myslíte, že jsem tomu byl schopen porozumět? <laughs> hey, I was praying in many weeks. Modlil jsem se mnoho týdnů. Lord, shall I go to Africa or to Russia? Bože, mám jít do Afriky nebo do Ruska. Go to your mother and ask for Běž za maminkou a prosí o odpuštění. I didn't understand it. Nerozuměl jsem tomu. And really, I am not joking. Life is sometimes funny. Some people say, Cornelius, how does God talk to it to you? In that moment, I stand up. When I had prayed again, Lord, shall I go to Africa? No answer. I stand up and I thought. I must go to a seminar to, 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 to learn how to hear the word of the, the, the voice of God. God is not talking to me. Or I don't understand it. And in that moment, God was talking clearly to me. Not behind my thoughts. And he said to me, You hypocrite. What do you want to do in Africa or in Russia? Do you want to pray, to preach that the people shall repent? From the evil works? And ask for forgiveness? But you are not willing to go to your mother. God said to me, you are only running away from your mother. And when you do this, you are the rest of your life a hypocrite. Preaching others, but you are not willing to do it yourself. And then the Lord said to me, it doesn't, don't care if I sent you to Africa or to Russia. The way anywhere is only going over your mother. Cesta kamkoliv jde přes tvůj maminku. I was shocked. Byl jsem šokovaný. I was ready for big ministries. Byl jsem připravený na velké služby. But God is not interested in the big things. Ale Boha nezajímají velké věci. He is able to do big things. On zvládne udělat velké věci sám. But the question is, are we ready for the big things? Otázka je, jsme my připraveni na velké věci? Are we faithful in little? And I realized then, what is really big? Big activities? Or is it big that one man maybe goes to the mother and asks for forgiveness? Here the real miracles happen. Why are so many families broken? Sometimes God must talk 40 years to a man that he asks his wife for forgiveness. 
měl pak požádat o odpuštění. Look, God was needing six days to create, create heaven and earth. Bůh potřeboval šest dní, aby stvořil nebe a zemi. But sometimes he is needing many years to, to bring me back to my mother. Ale někdy potřebuje několik let, aby mě dostal zpátky ke své mamě. Do you see the problem of God? Vidíte, jaký má Bůh problém? Yeah, then I went to my mother and asked for forgiveness. Tak jsem šel za svojí maminkou a požádal jsem ji o odpuštění. And I promise you, this was the hardest way. Slibuju vám, tohle bylo to nejtěžší. Easier to go to others. Snaší by bylo jít za cizími lidmi. It's always easier to go to others. To je vždycky snaší. <laughs> yeah. Uh, God was preparing me for many different things. Bůh mě připravoval na mnoho různých věcí. A very funny history. Vtipnou historii. Uh, once God laid on my heart Jednou mi Bůh vložil na srdce that I drive to north of Norway. Abych jel na sever Norska. And I liked it. A to se mi líbilo. It is a dream of every biker to drive to the North Cape. To je sen každého um, motorkáře je na And I thought, this is good, I do. But then, really, I, I had on my heart, no, I don't want you to drive with the bike. I want you to drive with, uh, uh, what is the word? Not a caravan, it's a, it's a bus with the... House, uh, what is the name? Caravan. Camper. Camper, yeah. Also with the motor. There's a bus and included the house. Camper. Yeah. And for me it was totally crazy the idea. Because uh, we as bikers We were only laughing about the caravan people. It was always old people with a small dog. Yeah. And they were bloca blockaded the, the way when we drive. So the caravan people were always the... Yeah. And now I as the leader of the motorcycle work shall sit in the caravan on the way to Norway. It was a já jako šéf motorkářského světa mám teďka jet v karavanu na sever Norska. The biggest shame. To je ta největší ostuda. Uh, and I said to, to the Lord. Tak jsem řekl Bohu. Maybe this is only a crazy idea. Možná to je jenom nějaký šílený nápad. But if this is from you. Ale jestli je to od tebe. You know I have no money to buy such one and I have no one. Víš, že nemám peníze na to koupit si karavana. Žádný nemám. So I thought these arguments are enough. Tak jsem si řekl, tyhle argumenty jsou dostatečné. And uh, time came closer. Blížil se čas. And I was packing my bike. Tak jsem si bál motorku. Hey, life is sometimes like a film, you know? Život je někdy jako film. Not before. Ne před. During I pack my bike. Během toho, když jsem se zbalil na tu motorku. Happy to drive to north of Norway. Šťastný jet na sever norské motorce. My, my old telephone rings. Můj starý telefon zazvonil. And the foreign man was there. And he asked me, Cornelius, do you need my camper? Hey. In, this is, this is a, a, a situation which is difficult to handle. Because I was knowing God is doing something. Protože jsem viděl, že Bůh něco dělá. But I was angry. Ale byl jsem naštvaný. I didn't like what he said. Ne, nelíbilo se mi, co řekl. Do you need my camper? Potřebuješ můj camper. I was not needing it. Nepotřeboval jsem ho. So, inside of me, the, the vulcan was open. Takže uvnitř mě se otevřela sovka. But in the same moment I was humble because I realized God is at hand. Ale ve stejnou chvíli jsem se pokořil a říkám, Bůh to má ve svých rukou. So I, so I asked him, tak jsem se ho zeptal. Why do you think that I need your camper? Proč si myslíš, že potřebuji tvůj camper? He said, uh, God told me that I should give my camper to you. Bůh mi řekl, ať ti ho dám. 
I said, when did he say this? Tak se ptám, kdy ti to řekl? He said, you were in our church two or three months ago. Když jsi byl před dvěma, třema měsíci v našem zboře. And when you preached, a když jsi kázal, Holy Spirit said to me, give your camper to Cornelius. Duch svatý mi řekl, dej svůj camper Cornelius. And I said, hey, this is two, three months ago. A říkám, hej, tohle bylo před dvěma až třema měsíci. Why are you calling me now? Proč mi voláš teď? Do you know what he said? Víte, co řekl? I didn't want to give my camper away. <laughs> Nechtěl jsem se zdát svého kempu. Do you see the problem? Vidíte ten problém? He didn't want to give the camper away. On se nechtěl vzdát svého kempu. And I didn't want to have one. A já jsem ho nechtěl přijmout. Yeah. You see, this is sometimes the problem what God has. Uh, but I said, okay, I come, I, I take the camper. Dobře, tak já se ten kempu vezmu. And then I drove with the camper to north of Norway. Pak jsem s ním jel na sever Norska. It was a blame and a shame, yeah? Byla to hrozná ostuda. Every biker who passed by. <laughs> Každý motorkář, co projel kolem. Yeah, sorry, but you know the, the finger in the middle. Tak mi ukázal prostředníček. Yeah. And I, okay, God bless you. A já jenom, dobře, I know, I was sitting there like a... Tak jsem tam seděl. <sighs> and when I... Came to north of Norway. Uh, it was uh, in May. In May. In the night, I heard a noise on the roof. And I, I opened the door. And it was white. It, snow came. And then I, I thought, what would I do with my motorbike now? Tak jsem si říkal, co bych teďka dělal, kdybych tady byl na motorce. And there I went on my knees. Tak jsem si poklekl. And I said to the Lord. A řekl jsem Pánu. Forgive me that I am so hard-headed. Odpust mi, že jsem tak tvrdohlavý. And then they are said Jesus to me. Pak mi Ježíš řekl. Cornelius, learn this lection. Cornelie, nauč se tuhle lekci. This is my problem. To je můj problém. Six days I needed to create heaven and earth. But I was needing two months to convince the man to give the, the camper. And much more time with you to understand that you should have it. Learn to believe that my way is the best. Moje cesty jsou ty nejlepší. You know, many such experiences. Spoustu takových zkušeností. Crazy. Šílené. Learn to pray. Naučte se modlit. You know, prayer is much more than only to do the routine. Modlitba je mnohem víc než jenom od, odříkat si tu rutinu. In John 4, v Janu, v Janu 4 the woman asks, se ptá samařská žena, where should we pray? Kde se měli On that mountain, Nahoře. or in the temple, Chrámě. shall we pray in the church, se v on prayer meeting, Na se and what is the answer of Jesus? Co je the time comes and is already that the real prayers pray in the spirit and in the truth. Přichází hodina, ano, již je tu, kdy ti, kteří Boha opravdu věcí, budou ho uctívat v duchu a v pravdě. God wants to communicate where we are. Bůh s námi chce komunikovat tam, kde jsme. And he's doing it for, with those people who wants to live in the truth. A dělá to s lidmi, kteří chtějí žít v pravdě. God is talking to us. Bůh k nám promluvá. When we read the Bible. Bibli, when we hear a good preaching, kázání, when we read a good book, knihu, God can talk to us non-stop. Look, in the Bible are standing some things which are very dangerous. No pastor would ever preach about it. Look what is standing in 1 John, chapter 2. Kapitola 2. Verse 27. 1. Jan 2, 27. Ale zasvěcení, které jste vy od něho přijali, zůstává ve vás. 
takže nepotřebujete, aby vás někdo učil. Jeho zasvěcení vás učí všemu a je pravé a není to žádná lež. Jak vás vyučil, tak zůstávejte v něm. Tady se píše, že nepotřebujete, aby vás někdo učil. Co pak nepotřebujeme učitele? What I am doing here? Co já dělám teď tady? <laughs> Don't we need it? Nepotřebujeme to? I think we need it. Já myslím, že to potřebujeme. But we must understand that we cannot substitute the teaching of the Holy Spirit. Ale musíme pochopit, že nemůžeme nahradit učení Ducha svatého. You can, you can have the best Bible teachers in the world. Můžete mít ty nejlepší učitele podle na světě. What is the aim of their ministry? Co je cílem jejich služby? The aim is that you come to that point that you yourself receive the teaching of the Spirit. Jejich cílem je, že vy sami si dojdete do bodu, kdy přijmete učení Ducha Svatého. Prosím. I cannot substitute the Holy Spirit in your life. Já nemůžu nahradit Ducha Svatého ve vašem životě. You know, when I would teach you, as I do right now, I can give you the best I know. But maybe you are in a totally different situation. Maybe your mother is ill. Or your parents divorce. You have totally different questions. And i don't know it. A já to nevím. You know, I can give you a Bible study with 28 points. Můžu vám dát biblickou hodinu s 28 body. But then you have knowledge. Takže pak máte znalosti. But it is not your life situation. Ale neodpovídá to vaší životní situaci. I am sitting in front of the TV. Já sedím před televizí. And watching Rambo. Koukám se na Rambo. Here the, the truth and the spirit is working. Tady ta pravda a duch pracují. Here comes the anointing. Anointing? Or? Here is what is the standing when the Holy Spirit is teaching us. Mm-hmm. Tady přichází to zasvěcení, když nás duch svatý učí. Here is the question if I am willing to learn. Tady stojí, jestli jsem ochoten se učit. You know, very often uh, uh, pastors make a uh, Bible study with people. Hodně často kazatelé dělají s lidmi biblické studium. Then they agree with the points. Takže souhlasí se všemi body. And get baptized. A dají se pokřtít. But maybe they are not born again. Ale možná se ještě nenarodili. They have no personal relationship with God. Nemají žádný osobní vztah s Bohem. Nothing can substitute your own personal relationship to Jesus. Nic nemůže nahradit tvůj osobní vztah s Ježíšem. This is the secret of, of, of it all. To je tajemství toho všeho. Sometimes we, we make hard uh, experiences. Někdy máme těžké zkušenosti. Uh, I was thrown out of my church. Mě vyhodili z mého sboru. Uh, because we had a, a church leader who was I don't know the English word. Um, uh, machtkrank. Um, He wanted power. Yes. So, um, takže oni ho vyhodili ze sboru, protože měli vedoucího sboru, který toužil pomoci. Uh, he was only uh, he was only trying to keep his position. Jenom se snažil udržet si svoji pozici. And every time when when other people started to grow spiritually, pokaždé, když ostatní lidé začali duchovně růst, He felt a danger. And was manipulating them out. I'm only one of 20 others who were thrown out. Uh, you know the point is this. Now be careful, I give you a very important principle. People who start to be active. Lidi, kteří začnou být aktivní, they make mistakes. Dělají chyby. People who are very active, they make many mistakes. 
Lidé, kteří jsou velmi aktivní, dělají hodně chyb. And some people never do any mistakes. A někteří lidé nikdy neudělají žádné chyby. Do you get the point? Chápete pointu? Some people do never make any mistake. Někteří lidé nikdy neudělají chyby. Because they do nothing. Protože nedělají nic. With such nothing doer, s, takovým, s takovými dělači ničeho, he was comfort. Byl on v klidu. But When others started to grow, Ale když ostatní začali růst, he was happy to find mistakes. Byl, měl, měl rád, když mohl najít nějaké chyby. Because in their mistakes, chyba, he was able to show that he is better. Mohl ukázat, že on je lepší. You are wrong. Ty nemáš he, he was able to, 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 to bring himself up by bringing others down. Vyvyšoval sám sebe tím, že ponižoval ostatní. And then it's very easy. You find a pak je to lehké, najdeš chyby. And then you have to throw them out. A pak máš důvody vyhodit lidi ven ze But the truth is, Ale pravda je taková, he was out the, the people. že on vyhazoval ty lepší lidi. Those who started really to think and really to do. Ty, kteří opravdu začali přemýšlet, ti, kteří něco dělali. And uh, when they throw me out, a když vyhodili mě, uh, I was so shocked. Byl jsem šokovaný. A, a for me it was an atom bomb in my brain and in my heart. Pro mě to v mozku v srdci byla jak atomová bomba. Uh, I was not expecting that. Vůbec jsem to nečekal. Never. Nikdy. The way how they did it. I to jak to udělali. Because I got the information. Protože já jsem dostal tu informaci. I asked the leader. Zeptal jsem se toho vedoucího. The second leader. Toho druhého vedoucího. I asked him, is there uh, any, uh, is there any problem uh, yeah. we must take, uh, be, uh, is there something we must talk about? Zeptal jsem se ho, je nějaký problém, měli bychom se o něčem promluvit? And he said to me, no, no, everything is okay. On říká, ne, ne, všechno je v pořádku. Just wait for the next church meeting. Jenom počkej na další setkání zboru. And on the next church meeting, they throw me out. A na dalším setkání mě vyhodili. And I was not there, I was in Norway. A já jsem tam nebyl, já jsem v Norsku. And the one who threw me out, he's the father of one of my best friends. A ten, který mě vyhodil, je otec všech mých nejlepších I was good with him by the, the whole time. Celou dobu jsem s ním byl za dobře. Until today, Až do dneška, I asked myself, sám sebe. what the other leader had in his hand to press him to do this. Co měl ten druhý vedoucí ve svých rukou, že ho přiměl mě vyhodit? Because he would never do it. Protože on by to nikdy neudělal. Totally crazy. Plně šílený. You see manipulation, pressure. Vidíte manipulace, nátlak. Lies. Lži. I was shocked. Byl jsem šokovaný. Uh, the Bible is full of wonderful stories. Bible je plná úžasných příběhů. Welcome in the reality. Vítejte v reality. The stories are not given only for children. Příběhy nejsou jenom pro děti. The time will come when you see the stories in your life. Přijde čas, kdy ty příběhy uvidíte ve svém životě. When the Holy Spirit makes it real. Kdy to Duch Svatý udělá skutečným. When I was sitting there in my pain. Když jsem tam seděl ve svém bolesti. The Holy Spirit reminded me on John. When the blind man was healed. And then they throw him out of the church. And so wonderful to read that Jesus was searching for him and found him. And God said to me, Cornelius, Welcome in the reality. Cornelia, vítej v reality. I'm here for you. Jsem tu pro tebe. So what do I need? Do I need my big church? Tak co potřebuju? Potřebuju velký sbor. Nice to have. Je hezký ho mít. What I need most at all is Jesus. Co potřebuju především je Ježíš. You know, and in, in that time, maybe you know the, the Bible world, I will carry you on my wings. V té době nás ponese na svých křídlech. 
It's a, it's a nice picture. Je to pěkný obraz. A big eagle. Velký orel. And he's carrying us on, our, on the wings. On nás nese na svých křídlech. But in that moment I realized this nice picture is a brutal reality or part of a brutal reality. Ale v tu chvíli jsem si uvědomil, že tenhle hezký obrázek je část brutální reality. Because it belongs to the, to the situation that the small eagles are in the eagle house. Protože v té situaci ti malí orlátka jsou v domečku v hnízdě. On a big rock. Na velkém kameni. And then the father throws the eagle babies out. A pak ten otec vyhazuje ty svoje mláďátka ven. And then they fall. A And they cry. A brečí. And they don't understand their father. Nerozumí svému otci. And then the father comes and takes them on the wings. Pak otec přijde a nese je na svých křídlech. Brings them up again. A zase je vynese nahoru. Gives a little bit food. Dá jim trochu najíst. And poop, kick them out again. A poop, zase je skopne dolů. Because they must learn to use the wings. Protože oni se musí naučit používat svoje křídla. And it's the same with us. A stejné to je s námi. We like to sit in the house with all the baby eagles and consume. Rádi sedíme v domečku se všemi ostatními a jenom přijímáme, konzumujeme. But God wants us to learn to fly. Ale Bůh chce, abychom se naučili letět. We must learn to live in the spirit. Musíme se naučit žít v duchu. But we are comfort with our traditions. Ale nám stačí naše tradice. We have enough. Máme dost. With the limited edition. Máme dost limitované edice. But God doesn't accept it. Ale to Bůh nepřijímá. So for me, God kicked me out. Takže mě Bůh vykopnul. Today I look back. Dnes se ohlížím. And I, I only can smile about it. A už se můžu jenom smát. Přijít. And I'm so thankful that God was teaching me to use my wings. <laughs> A jsem vděčný, že mě Bůh učil používat moje křídla. Learn to use your spiritual wings. Naučte se používat své duchovní křídla. Read the Bible yourself. Čtěte Bibli sami. Make the experience yourself that God is reminding you. Dělejte zkušenosti, kdy vám Bůh připomíná, co jste četli. That is preparing you. Že vás připravuje. That is using you. Že vás používá. When you make such experiences. Když uděláte takové zkušenosti. I promise you. Slibuju vám. This is rich richness. Tohle je bohatství. Uh, this makes the life rich. Tohle dělá život bohatý. To live in the fullness. Žít v plnosti. You know the world wants to bring you down. Svět nás chce. God wants you to fly. Bůh chce, abychom letali. Even Christians want to bring you down. I křesťané vás chtějí ponížit. You know, uh, one example. Jeden příklad. Uh, I support a brother who wants to make uh, street evangelizations. Podporuj toho bratra, který chce dělat na evangelizaci na ulici. His pastor don't likes it. Jeho, jeho kazatel to nemá. Uh, we made many park evangelizations. Dělali jsme mnoho evangelizací v parku. People are thankful. Lidi jsou vděční. They are crying there. They, they want more. Pláčou, they take the books. Pastor never comes. It is such a disappointment every time. To je takové zklamání. To fight against the own brothers. Bojovat proti vlastním bratrům. The world is waiting Svět čeká. for the gospel, but the brothers are stopping. Svět čeká na evangelium, ale naše vlastní bratři nás zastavují. Uh, the Bible is full with wonderful stories. Bible je plná úžasných příběhů. Look on David. Podívejme se na Davida. God had prepared David. Bůh připravil Davida. For Goliath. Na Goliáše. God has always a solution. Bůh má vždy řešení. You know when there was a pat situation with the enemies at Israel. Když byla s nepřáteli Izraele nevýhodná situace. And Goliath was talking big words. A Goliáš mluvil své namachrované slova. David came there. Přišel David. And he realized. A uvědomil si. I am the solution for the problem. Já jsem řešením tohohle problému. This sounds crazy, eh? 
To zní šíleně, ne? <laughs> And his own brother said. A jeho vlastní bratr řekl. I, I know your evilness. Já znám tvoji podlost. You have left the sheep. Opustil si ovce. You are only here to show up yourself. Jsi tady, aby se předvedl. You see, when I read this, když to hledčtu, the Holy Spirit talked to me. Duch svatý ke mně promluvil. Never be afraid to go yet. Nikdy se neboj Goliáše. But be careful with your brothers. Ale buď, buď opatrný se svými bratry. And I promise you one thing. A já vám slibuju jednu věc. Nobody has disappointed me more Nikdo mě nesklamal víc than Christians. než křesťaní. Nobody has tried to stop me more than Christians. Nikdo se mě nesnažil zastavit víc než křesťaní. Be careful. Buďte opatrný. When God calls you, když vás Bůh povolá, Goliath is not the problem. Není problém Goliáš. David was prepared. David byl připravený. He was already making the experience that he killed the lion, that he killed the bear. Goliath was only the next level in the in the game. Goliáš byl jenom další level. Important is that God is leading you. Důležité je, že Bůh tě vede. Everybody else would be blasphemous. To, to, to live in the illusion I can be Goliath. Každý jiný by si myslel, to je šílenství porazit Goliáše. But for, for David it was no problem. Ale pro Davida to nebyl problém. I want to give you a last uh, story. Chci vám dát poslední příběh. When uh, I started my ministry among the bikers, když jsem, za, když jsem začal svoji službu mezi motorkáři, God laid on my heart two things. The first thing was that we reach the, the European motorbiker scene with the gospel. And that I can preach in front of the biggest motorcycle club in Germany. A že by umožní kázat před největším motorkářským klubem v Německu. And uh, I was on the Bible school. A byl jsem na biblické škole. And there was a prayer day. Tam byl modlitevní den. So we talk about prayer. Takže jsme se bavili o modlitbě. And everybody should bring two prayer requests. A každý měl přinést dvě dva modlitevní podněty. And I brought these two. A já jsem přinesl tyhle dva. And my director said. Cornelius, we don't pray for this. Why? You are thinking too big. You are proud. You must go to, to a Christian psychologue. Okay. So I was sitting in front of one of our teachers. And he said, Cornelius, I tried to help you. On mi řekl, Kornelie, já se ti snažím pomoct. You think too big. Myslíš moc ve velkém. I said why? A říkám proč. He said you talk about to reach the European motorcycle scene with the gospel. Mluvíš o tom, že chceš sdělit celé motorkářské scéně v Evropě. That's too big. To je moc velké. I said you must help me because I think too little. Říkám, ne, vy mi musíte pomoct, protože já myslím v moc malým měřítku. Because Jesus says we should reach the whole world. Protože Ježíš říká, že máme hlásat v celém světě. And I'm only talking about Europe. A já mluvím jenom o Evropě. He said I cannot help you. Učitel říká, nemůžu ti pomoct. <laughs> But do you know what happened? Ale víte, co se stalo? Some weeks later. O několik týdnů později. A man was calling me. Zavolal mi nějaký muž. God has laid on his heart to produce a motorbike Bible. Bůh, bike a Bible. Bůh mu vložil na srdce udělat motorkářskou Bibli. To make it short, today we have this bike a Bible in all the languages. Ve zkratce, teď máme tuhle Bibli ve všech jazycích. Hundreds thousands are given in whole of Europe. Sto tisíce jsou rozdávány po celé Evropě. There are many hundreds Christian missionaries in the in the motorcycle scene who are daily giving biker Bibles to motorcycle clubs, motorbiker exhibitions and so on. Mezi motorkáři je spoustu, spoustu křesťanů motorkářů, kteří rozdávají knihy do, do obchodů, do klubů. One, one president of a motorcycle club came to me and said, Cornelius, can I have a Bible? 
Prezident jednoho motorskářského klubu za mnou přišel. Kornelie, můžu mít Bibli? Can you pray for me? Můžeš se za mě modlit? I'm prisoner of my own club. Jsem, ve, jsem uvězněn ve svém vlastním klubu. I don't come out. Nemůžu se dostat ven. Pray for me. Modli se za mě. I could tell stories. Mohl bych vám říct spoustu příběhů. Is God unable? Je Bůh neschopný? Hundreds of thousands are in, in the whole Europe. Stovky tisíc po celé Evropě. In Africa now. Africa. In America. Americe. Because God is using other people there. Protože Bůh se používá další lidi tam. And what happened with the other prayer request? A co se stalo s tou další, s tím další podnětem k modlitbě, co jsem tehdy měl? God may, made it true. Bůh to naplnil. The day came and I was preaching in front of the whole motorcycle club in Germany. Přišel den, když jsem kázal před motorkářským klubem v Německu. This was one of two or three most craziest happenings in my life. To byl jeden ze dvou nebo tří nejšilenějších věcí, co se mi v životě staly. And the way how this happens. A jak se to stalo? Do you know what happened? Víte, co se stalo? Again, the person between the borders. Znovu, byl jsem ten na hranici mezi dvěma světy. One of those bikers came to me. Jeden z motorkářů za mnou přišel. In secret. Potajný. And he said, Cornelius, I have lots of respect of what you are doing. A řekl, Cornelie, mám hodně respektu k tomu, co děláš. Because my, my um, uh, grandmother, she's Christian. Protože moje babička je křesťan. And I love her. A já ji miluju. And I cannot believe that you, that you confess Jesus here among us. A já nemůžu věřit, že ty vyzýváš Ježíše tady mezi námi. We had standing here, Jesus is alive, turn or burn. Měli jsme na triku napsáno Ježíš je naživu, oprať se nebo uhoř. So we were going directly with the gospel into this uh, scene. A s tímhle jsme my chodili s evangeliem. And uh, look what happened. Then the highest president of Germany from the clubs. Potom prezident, nejvyšší prezident těchto motorkářských klubů. He is a full time psychopath. Je to, je to psychopat. He, he's a, he's a killer. Zabiják. He's responsible for 10-20 kills every, every year. Je zodpovědný za 10 až 20 vražd ročně. He gave the order On dal rozkaz? to beat me. Aby mě zmlátili. Because he said Cornelius is a hypocrite. Protože řekl, Cornelius je pokrytec. Uh, he tries to make business as a camouflage crisp, uh, Christian in our areas. Snaží se dělat business, že předstírá, že je křesťan v našich oblastech. Because uh, he said a real Christian doesn't have such a biceps like he has. Protože řekl, opravdu víc křesťan nemá bicepsy jako má Cornelius. You know, now I'm old, yeah? Teď jsem starý. But in that time I had biceps Ale like like Schwarzenegger. V té době jsem měl biceps jako Schwarzenegger. And then he gave the order to destroy me. Takže dal rozkaz, aby mě zničili. And this man who had the respect got the order. A tenhle muž, co mi předtím řekl, že ke mně má respekt, dostal tenhle rozkaz. Imagine how God is leading this. Představte si, jak to Bůh vedl. He had hundreds of other members. Měl stovky jiných členů. But God was leading that exactly that man got the job. Ale Bůh vedl, že přesně tenhle muž měl tuhle And now it happened that this man came to me. Takže se stalo, že tenhle muž za mnou přišel. And he had a big problem. A měl velký problém. He didn't want to, to beat me. Nechtěl mě zmlátit. But when he would not do it, Ale kdyby to neudělal, they would destroy him. Tak oni by zničili jeho. I promise you, they are crazy. Přísám, jsou šílení. When president says, clean my bike. Když prezident řekne, umí mi motorku. And you don't do it immediately. A ty to neuděláš hned. They beat you to the dust. Zmlátí tě. You, you cannot believe how they treat their own members. When they are all living with fear of each other. That, that's a hierarchy of, of uh, psychopaths. And uh, now he had a problem when he's not beating me, they will destroy him. So he came to me, he came to me and said, uh, Cornelius, what would you do when someone is beating you? A řekl, Cornelia, co bys udělal, kdyby tě někdo zmlátil? And Holy Spirit woke me up. Duch svatý mě probudil. And I said to him, a říkám, Who is sending you? Kdo tě poslal? Because you would not ask me something like that. Protože ty bys se mě takhle na něco takového nezeptal. And then he said, 
Ja, president gave me the order and so. president mi dal rozkaz. So I prayed. Tak jsem se modlil. I said, Lord, how can I help him to come out of this trap? Bože, jak mu můžu pomoct dostat se z téhle? And so I said to him, I said to him, go to your president and tell him he shall come next Friday to our to, to your clubhouse here. And then he can beat me. And then he can find out how a Christian reacts. And he thought I want to fight with him. He said to me, Cornelius, you cannot fight with him. He's a psychopath. He will kill you. I said, who said that I want to fight with him? So he was totally confused. But he realized that that's maybe the only way for him to come out of the situation. So he went, he passed away. He went away. Yeah. And uh, then... I had some days to to prepare. Look, God is testing us. God is testing us. Uh, today, when I read about Jesus in Gethsemane, I always remember on that on that story. Jesus had the time to run away, but he was knowing the will of God. And he prayed. You know, when we are tempted to, to run away, learn to pray. And I, I made the same experience like Jesus. I became such a peace. But I expected everything. God didn't tell me it will be fine. Just trust in me, nothing happens. No, I expected the most terrible. That's why I didn't take my contact lens. I was afraid that this beating in my eyes maybe and this destroys the lens and I'm blind. I was thinking about such things. Yeah? But I drove there with peace in my heart. And when I came to the clubhouse, hey, I will never forget all the members there. They were looking on me. They were not expecting that I come. And I, I saw in their eyes that they had, they were pitying, so they felt something for me. They were all afraid of the president. And uh, so I was waiting. And suddenly a, a black Mercedes came from Frankfurt. And he is from Frankfurt. And then another man came out of the car. And he, he went to the leader. He was pointing to me. Then he came to me. And I thought, now, now it will happen something. And then he said to me these words. The answer is enough for him. I said, what? The answer is enough for him. And I thought, what? No, no beats? No, nothing? <laughs> okay, okay. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and uh, so I, nothing happened. He was, he was satisfied with the answer. So I came out. But do you know what happened? The result was that the whole club there had a multiplication of respect of me. After that, they came all to me to talk about my faith. Like Nicodemus, everybody came in secret. Cornelius, why do you resuscitate your life for us? What is so important Co je tak that you are ready to give your life here for us? Tady dát svůj život za nás. And the other point happened. 
Další věc, co se This man who had the order to beat me. Tenhle muž, co měl, co měl za úkol mě zmlátit. Now he had such a respect. Teď měl takový respekt. He tried to do something good. Se snažil dělat něco dobrého. And he opened the doors for me. Otevřel mi tím dveře. He called me and said, Cornelius, uh, I'm the organizer for for different um, events. Zavolal mi a říká, Cornelie, já organizuju různé akce. Do you want to come with the biker Bibles to this event, to that event? Chceš přijít na tuhle akci, na tamto akci s těmi motorkářskými biblemi? Crazy! Šílený. God opened the doors. Bůh mi otevřel dveře. And then it happened. A pak se to stalo. The day came when he called me and said, Cornelius, do you want to preach in front of all our members? Přišel den, kdy mi tenhle organizátor zavolal a ptal se mě, Cornelia, chceš kázat před všemi členy našeho klubu? I thought it's impossible. Já jsem si myslel, to je nemožné. We had prayed for it in five, seven years. Pět, sedm let jsme se za něco takového modlili. And it became real. A teď se to stává. The point se... is, the government wanted to forbid the whole club. Jde o to, že vláda chtěla zakázat celý ten klub. And they made the demonstration. A oni dělali demonstraci. For media and TV. Pro média, pro televizi. And they wanted to show to the society that they are not so, not so evil. A chtěli ukázat společnosti, že oni nejsou tak hrozný. So they wanted me to make a money collection for a children house. Takže chtěli, abychom udělali sbírku pro domov dětí. In front of the TVs. Před televizí. And then I said to him. A pak jsem I said, řekl, what is this? You want to collect money for the children home? Chcete vybírat peníze na dětský domov? And when they are 16? You put them on heroin and and take them to the bordel or what? Dáte jim heroin a pošlete je do bordelu, nebo jak to bude? Ah, Cornelius. I, I only can ask you if you if you make it. Já se tě mohu jenom zeptat, jestli to uděláš. I said I must ask my president. Říkám, musím se zeptat prezidenta. He said, I thought you were the president of your club. On se, on říká, já myslel, že ty jsi prezident svého klubu. I said, I am the servant. I said, Jesus Christ is the president. Já jsem řekl, já jsem jenom služebník, Ježíš Kristus. I said, I will ask him. Já se zeptám jeho. And then I prayed. Pak jsem se Lord, mluvil. I said, we have prayed so many years. Bože, and now I have the possibility. Bože, tolik let jsme se modlili a teď jsi mi dal tu možnost. And then happens this. A stane se tohle. I cannot make myself part of such a treatment. Nemůžu být součástí takového podvodu. And then the Holy Spirit told me. Pak mi řekl Duch Svatý. Cornelius. Cornelia. Who said that you must say what they want? Kdo řekl, že ty musíš říct to, co oni chtějí? You only must preach what I want you to preach. Ty musíš jenom kázat to, co já chci, aby kázal. And in this moment I got the whole slovo, the whole preaching. A v tuhle chvíli jsem dostal celé to kázání. Without homiletic and exegesi. <laughs> As we, we've we've all studied. I got the message what I should preach. And I said to Jesus, Lord, when I preach this, I am dead. Yes. Is this, is this okay for you? You know, God is challenging us. Do you really believe that the gospel is worth it? You know, for me, this event was the last. I thought it will be the last. I was sure when I preach this, they will kill me. So I said goodbye to, to life and to the world. Because in that moment I decided it's better to have one Elia situation with fire from heaven than to have 70 boring years. Eliáš was always a, a, a good example for me. Eliáš to nebyl vždycky dobrý příklad. That's why I have called my friends Elia. Proto jsem pojmenoval svého psa, yeah. uh, So for me, I thought, I will do this and then it's over. Takže já jsem si myslel, udělám tohle a je konec. And when the day came, a když přišel ten den, hey, I was driving on that place, já jsem jel na to místo, the first thought was, první moje myšlenka byla, I want to disappear. 
Chceš zmizet. I want to be part of the motorcycle. Chci být součástí motorky. You know, you, you, there were only big tattooed muscle guys, hundreds of them. Byly tam stovky velkých potetovaných chlapců. Full with testosterone. Plný testosteronu. I smell the testosterone. Cítil ten testosteron. Boah. And then I looked on Jesus and I said, Christ, I'm all, already crucified with you. Podívám se na Ježíše a říkám, Ježíši, už jsem s tebou. You live in me. Ty žiješ ve mně. And then I was preaching. Pak jsem kázal. And when I started to, to say the things I said. A když jsem začal říkat ta slova, co jsem řekl. The members were jumping up. Členové skákali nahoru. Because they felt provocated. Protože se cítili vyprovokovaní. And uh, but camera was there. Ale byly tam kamery. And we were surrounded of police. A byli jsme obklopení policisty. Uh, many big buses full with police. Spoustu velkých autobusů plných with, with shield and baseball sticks and helm. Se štítem a s baseballkou a helmou. I was preaching there. Já jsem kázal tam. Hundreds of the bikers. Stovky motorkářů. And the circle of of police. Kruh policistů. And camera teams. A kamerové týmy. And I was knowing what will happen. Because I, I, I know the dynamic. So when I started to preach, they jumped up. And I had expected this. They were all they were all looking on the president of that region. Uh, they have such a strong hierarchy. They were waiting for a sign of him. When he would give a sign, they would come and take me. And you know, some of those people, they don't fear the police or anything. They are only waiting for such a situation. Because then they maybe go to prison one year, but they grow in the hierarchy. Protože možná půjdou na rok do vězení, ale pak porostou v té hierarchii. So I was knowing police is not helping. Takže jsem viděl, že policie nepomáhá. I always was looking on the president of that region. Takže já jsem jenom koukal na prezidenta té oblasti. And he was sitting there. On tam seděl. Like this. Takhle. When he realized what I'm preaching. Když si uvědomil, co kážu. And when I said amen. Když jsem řekl amen. He jumped up. Vyskočil. In, in front of the cameras, and all the hundreds were jumping up. <laughs> what a show, yeah? And uh, when everything was over, the leader of the police came to me. He was sweating. He said, I don't believe this. He said, since I know that I should lead the activity here, I'm in fear. He said, Cornelius, I'm an active Christian. I pray every day since I got this job. Because I have family, I, I have four kids. I have expected everything on here. But not something like that. That you stay there and preach. Crazy things. But the point was, I was counting with that I come out there. But from that moment, I really thought now they will come and take me in secret. And almost a year after this happening, I, when I s s sit in my car to start, I thought now I will blow up a bomba. You, you will never imagine what feeling it is when you sit and you think, Lord, maybe I blow myself up. No. I was climbing under my car to look. One a year I was living with fear. But nothing happened. And more doors were going up. I can tell you stories. 
So maybe maybe you are afraid now. But you know, God is using people in a different way. We are different. You will maybe never make such experiences. But you have your life. And in principle, we can all make the same experiences. That God is talking to us. That is challenging us. And that is changing us. And that is fulfilling us. You know, to, to give you a last example. If God tells me to give you thousand euro, or if God tells you to give me thousand euro, you will come to the point where it doesn't matter if you give thousand euro or, or receive thousand euro. Important is only that God tells you what to do. Because to experience this, this makes life rich. Not only to receive, to receive, but to make the experience God is using me. So, learn to pray. I've written a book, uh, it's in Czech and Slovakian. Yeah. I hope I will find the time to make it better. Uh, but uh, right now there is this book in it. I think it's worth to, to read. But much more important is to pray. Do you have questions? She's asking if the bike bio is somewhere available. She... Yeah, okay. internet. Look on internet. internet. Oh, yeah. oh, there's a different distribution in Czech. But I know the Czech Christian yeah. clubs who are involved in that. I Okay. I will find it. Yeah, some other questions? Ty problémy, které jsi popisoval ve svém sboru, tak to bylo v rámci naší církve ještě, nebo? The problems you described in your church, when they did you, was it in our church? Yeah. Ještě vyhodili za to. It was a Baptist church. It was a Baptist church. But I could tell you other stories about Adventists too. <laughs> Don't be sorry. His his sister. I have a, a one. This is your sister. Am I right? Uh, uh, from from um, Lucy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, may I tell you a last story? It, it's one of the beautiful stories I, I ever experienced. And this shall in, encourage you. We were in Youth for Jesus uh, in Banska Bystrica in Zwolle. Then his sister came to me. She was about 16. And she said, Cornelius, um, I want to be a missionary, but uh, I cannot become a missionary. I said, why? And she said, my pastor says you cannot become a missionary. Yeah, I said, what, what is the reason? She said, yes, I, I am not psychically not stable and she's also using some medicine. On mi řekl, no, je to proto, že nejsem psychicky stabilní, že používám nějakou medicínu. So they don't, they don't want to accept her uh, on the education and so on. And then I said to her, I said to her, tak jsem jí řekl, listen to me, Lucy. I said you will never become a missionary. Nikdy nebudeš misionářka. I said don't try to become something when you are already. Ne 
nesnaš se stát něčím, čím už older, čím už si. I said, look, I don't try to become a man. Podívej, já se nesnažím být mužem. I am. Nebo stát se mužem. Já jsem muž. When you follow Jesus, když nás se Ježíš, you are a missionary. Jsi misionář. Don't try to become a missionary. Nesnaš se stát, stát misionář. I said, God will use you in a special way. Bůh se tě použije ve speciální. Like nobody else can, can use. Uh, 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 and then this happens. Pak se stalo tohle. We, we had on, in, in Vánská Bystrica, I was preaching on the námestí. And the youth expo was there. It was very big, yeah, very huge there. And then uh, Bestomovs was going through the whole activity. And he, and he looked really bad. And I saw all the young people. They were afraid to go to him and invite him. And so I prayed. Who is reaching those people? And he went away. And then uh, it was Sabbath. I was in Zvolen. And in the afternoon, Lucy came. And she said, uh, she said, Cornelius, I must tell you a story. This morning, when I went to the church in Banska Bystrica, I, I went through the park. And I saw a bestomovs sleeping on the bank. And I felt in the Holy Spirit to wake him up and to invite him to the, to the church. And I thought, oh yeah, Cornelius, what have you done? And I said, oh, and what have you done? She said, yes, I, I woke him up, but he said he, he wants to sleep. Okay. And she said, but I didn't give up. So I was shaking him and said, you must come to the church service. And I thought, oh, Cornelius, what have you done? Uh, so he came to the church service. And in the evening he came again. And it was exactly the, the best of most who was going through the... the there are hundreds. And here you see the point. You, you see a very important point. You know, when I would go to the best of months and wake him up, he, he would be afraid. He, he would think I, I want to beat him. But, but when Lucy wakes him up, he thinks an angel, I am heaven. You see, we are different. I am, for example, very bad. With, with activities from door to door. When people open the door and see me, they close the door again. <laughs> Once I wanted to help, a, help an old woman to carry the tashkas. <laughs> she was walking like this. So. And I said, can I help you? She was looking on me. Yeah. So I, I, I learned it's better for me to, to stay on the podium and preach. And not to be so close to the people. <laughs> they, they are always afraid. Yeah? And you see, we must find our place. And we must cooperate. And we are not the same. We are different. So don't try to copy others. And don't try to make others conform like you. The only thing I can tell you, build up your own relationship to Jesus. And make the experience that God is using you in your way. 
ve svém vlastním způsobu. Never try to copy a Cornelius. Nikdy se nesnažte nakorbovat Cornelius. That's the worst case. To je to nejhorší, co můžete udělat. Yeah. God has only originals. Bůh má jenom originály. Juhu, say hello to Lucy. Zdravu, say hello. <laughs> Where is she now? Kde je teď? Ten Slovakia. And uh, já můžu doplnit, a když jste přijeli toho bezdomovce, uh, můžeš překladat, no? že uh, jsem se doslechl, že prý on chodil nějaký čas potom ještě do sboru, potom jak uvěřil z Boha. A že prý nedávno zemřel. Takže možná to bylo poselství pro něho. Yeah, hallelujah. It's it's crazy. I love this story. It is it is so wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. So have the courage to be different. There is no border. God can use everybody. When we are faithful in little. We are willing to be different. Goliath is not a problem. Yeah. We have different questions. Jesus, I ask you really that you that you challenge these people here. And that you talk to them. That they really understand uh, to find the truth in their thoughts. Most at all in the Bible. Thank you, Lord, that you are talking to us by the Spirit. So I am uh, really looking forward to the next experiences. Amen. Amen. Díky moc.